no merger right now except for five banks, Bangladesh Bank. Nomination submission in for the first phase of Upazila polls. Awama League One's list of 60 lakh jailed BNP men. People start returning to Dhaka, wrapping up five-day Eid holiday. Those were the headlines. This is 18 News. Good evening, viewers. I'm Salehin Kadir with English Bulletin today. There will be no merger of banks for the time being, except for the proposed five banks. Spokesperson of Bangladesh Bank, Mr. Baul Hock, made the disclosure on Monday. Right now, Exim Bank has been merged with Podma Bank. Besides, discussion is going on for the merger of City Basic. Rishi Rakub, Sonali BDBL and UCB National Bank. The spokesperson of the central bank said discussion is taking place to make the merger of banks up to international standard and transparent. The next decision will be made in the context of experience gained through the merger of these five banks, he added. Monday was the last day for submission of nominations for the first phase of Opozilla polls in 152 Opozillas. The balloting in the first phase of Opozilla polls will be held on May 8th. The Opozillas of Rajshahis Tanor and Godagari will have polling in the first phase. A total of 12 candidates submitted their nominations on Monday afternoon for the polls in these two Opozillas. 30 candidates have submitted their nomination online for Tho Upazelas of Bandarbon district. These are Bandarbon Shodar, Rongchari, Tanshi and Ali Godam. This is for the first time the Election Commission has made an arrangement for submission of nominations online in the local government polls. The second phase of the Upazela polls in 161 Upazelas will take place on May 21. Awam League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir has sought the list of 60 lakh imprisonment leaders and activists of BNP from party Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir. Addressing a press conference at party president's political office in capital's Dhanmundi, the Awam League leader said if Mirza Fakhrul wow. fails to give that list, he will have to beg pardon to the nation for falsehood. Obaidul Qadir alleged BNP wants to strike the very roots of country's existence. Recently, BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir claimed that 60 lakh BNP leaders and activists are now languishing in jail. People have started to return to Dhaka on completion of five day and Novoborsho holiday. The train and buses saw a big rush of passengers. Some people were seen even traveling on the roof of the trains. The people who returned to Dhaka expressed satisfaction of a hassle-free and safe return after spending Eid holiday with the near ones. Government and many other semi-government and private office resumed activities from Monday. We now follow up with a short break and we will be back soon with U.S. not to join Israeli strikes against Iran Leverkusen clinch first ever Bundesliga trophy Welcome back. You're watching 18 News. This is Salim Kadir with English Bulletin. 
One of the most important clothing markets of the country, Bongo Bazaar, was gutted by devastating blaze a year ago. The raging fire also burned three other markets adjacent to Bongo Bazaar. They are Mohanagar Market, Gulistan Complex and Adarsha Unit. Dhaka South City Corporation has finalized a plan of building multi-story building on 106 acres of land for the four markets burned down by fire. The mayor of Dhaka South City Corporation, Fazli Nur Taposh, said all the four markets will have the names intact. The multi-story market complex will have 3,213 shops, 244 more than that of previous time. There will be parking arrangements for 169 cars and 109 motorbikes. There will be six fire exits. The size of the shops will be 80 to 110 square feet. We now begin with news from around the world. The White House has warned Israel that the U.S. will not participate in any retaliatory strikes on Iran, senior administration officials have said. Over 300 drones and missiles were fired at Israel overnight, which Iran said was in response to 1st April strike on its consulate in Syria. Almost all weapons were shot down by Israeli, U.S. and Allied forces before they reached their targets. Officials said Joe Biden urged Israel to consider its response carefully. Speaking to reporters on Sunday, a senior administration official said that Biden told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to think very carefully and strategically about how his forces replied to the unprecedented action, the first direct attack by Iran on the country. Triggered by the war in Gaza. Triggered. The United Nations has called on Iran and Israel to show restraint with the threat of a full-scale direct conflict between the pair looming over the Middle East. Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned the adversaries at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council on Sunday not to further escalate tension in the region with further attacks following mutual air attacks over the past two weeks. However, Iran and Israel concentrated on accusing one another of being a threat to peace. Neither the region nor the world can afford more wars, Guterres told the meeting. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. It is time to step back from the brink, he declared. Meanwhile, five people were killed by Israeli bombardment on Nusayrat refugee camp in central Gaza. We now begin with sports news. Coached by Zabi Alonso, Bayer Leverkusen won the Bundesliga title for the first time Sunday to end Bayern Munich's 11-year ring as champion. In the end, it wasn't even close. Leverkusen leads second place Bayern by 16 points after stretching its German record unbeaten run to 43 games across all competitions this season. Florian Ritz scored a hat-trick as Leverkusen routed Werder Bremen 5-0. Fans had already stormed onto the field when Leverkusen scored its fourth goal with seven minutes to go. And the final minutes were played in thick red smoke from supporters by road techniques while players on Leverkusen's bench clapped along to songs, danced and hugged one another. The fifth goal in the 90th minute brought more fans onto the field, hundreds this time, and the referee ended the game amid confusion and jubilation. So what a moment and please at home feel for Leverkusen today. Enjoy that moment with the supporters. Before ending the bulletin, the top series once again. No merger right now except for five banks. Bangladesh Bank. 
nomination submission in for the first phase of Opozilla polls. Awami League wants list of 60 lakh jailed BNP men. People start returning to Dhaka, wrapping up five-day Eid holiday. U.S. not to join Israeli strikes against Iran. And Leverkusen clinch first ever Bundesliga trophy. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us. Until then, see you soon.